Welcome all you beautiful ukulele lovers and music makers out there. Thank you for joining me for this spontaneous live stream lesson. This wasn't planned, but I wanted to offer something special for you all. Not only a lesson with an easy jam tune, not only are we going to learn about how to use the magic of the capo on our ukulele, but I want to clarify something about um, these live streams and make two special announcements, okay? This will be a shorter live stream, so let's get right into it. Please let me know in the chat. I'm so glad that people are already here for this unannounced live stream. Thanks for joining me. Let me know in the chat where you're from and uh, if you can hear me and see me okay. Let me know if the sound's all good. <laughs> Sounding good? Thank you. How are you doing out there? Hope your day is going great. Today's lesson is going to be about how to use a capo on the ukulele. This is just going to be a quick introduction to how to use the capo because there's so much you can do with the capo. Not only changing keys, but there are some other funky things you can do by partially capoing the strings. It's a powerful tool and it's an easy way to change keys. Before we get into things, uh, I wanted to make a quick announcement. These live streams are going to be happening for the general public here at Ukulele Zen and on YouTube the first Sunday of every month. I announced that last week. Of course, so much going on in everybody's lives. I wouldn't expect everybody to remember it, but I want to make sure it's clear that starting uh, you know, after this week, we're just going to be meeting the first Sunday of the month. So the next time we will be meeting together will, like this, will be March 6th. Of course, for patrons of Ukulele Zen, there will be other live streams, including a new live jam session, an interactive Q&A session, and a whole bunch of other things. So I wanna make sure that's clear. I'm gonna say that a couple of times today. This is going to be the last weekly live stream. We'll be meeting the first Sunday of the month. Please spread the news. Thank you for joining me. And I've got a lot of cool things to pack into this quick live stream. Sounds good, according to Kathy Plaza. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Michael, for joining me. Paul Rains is in the house from Ontario. Lisa's in the house. Dogmar, all the way from Germany. Thank you for joining me. And Randy's in the house. And Lisa. And Lance and Trey. Hey, good morning. People from Paris. Uh, Michel, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Thank you for joining me. Okay. That's the first announcement. Second announcement, really quick, I wanna let you know, uh, if, if you're a patron, this, uh, this will be something of the schedule. It's not totally cleared up, but th it will be something like this and I'll be announcing it soon. There will be uh, special things uh, for patrons only. And of course, if you are not a patron, no worries, of course, because there's gonna be so much available for you here for free every uh you know every month here at ukulele zen not only these first of the month live streams but other things as well i also want to let you know real quick before we get into the lesson that registration is officially open i know there are at least one person in the audience today has already registered i'll be sharing more about this in the future just want to let you know there's a link down below it's a five-day retreat it's at a renowned yoga and holistic center you don't have to be a yogi to attend, of course. It's a beautiful setting. It's relaxing. We'll go deep into our music making for five days. Omega is a whole campus of many other classes that you can drop in on. Daily yoga, uh, daily movement uh, classes, delicious food. It's a really, really good time. So if you'd like to hang with me five days at the Omega Institute just north of New York City, check the links down below for more details about that. Okay, so um, thank you very much. I see some folks from Helsinki. Thank you. I had the pleasure of visiting Helsinki in 2018. Uh, hung out at the sea pool for a whole day. Boy, was that amazing. You know, we played at the um, concert, uh, what was it called? There's a famous concert hall where Jimi Hendrix and, um, and uh, Led Zeppelin played. It was really cool to be on that stage. Anyway, let's get into things, friends. I want to play this lesson with you. In this live stream lesson, we're going to play You Are My Sunshine. Now, this is a basic version. I will be offering some chord embellishments for those of you who want to play something a bit more advanced. But for now, let's just warm up our chords. 
please join me as we warm up our chords. Start with your C major chord. And right now, just come into a place where um, you're just listening to one sound at a time. This is so beneficial for your music making. It's very relaxing just to come into the present moment and without any hurrying, just without racing towards the future, listen to your sound, allow your hand to soften. Take your hand off, play it again. C, beautiful, beautiful, everyone. The next chord we're gonna need is our F chord right here, okay? So we float the hand over to our F chord. We just do this for a moment, you know, a few minutes of just listening deeply, and it changes the whole way you approach the song. Okay, we're also gonna need our A minor chord. So A minor chord played with our middle finger right up there. And then, of course, we need our G chord, which is three fingers right here. You can, of course, if you wish, play a G7 chord. Okay, so a simple song, but one that we can really uh, learn a lot from. All right, and then in a moment, after we play through this, I'm going to show you how you can use the capo to change the keys and why would we want to change a key. Yes, it was the Kulturaturo, Sarah. That's right, that was it. Thank you for reminding me. Kulturaturo, what a cool room. You could just, I loved Helsinki. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me. You see what I'm doing? I'm warming up my hand with a little bit of the groove while I scratch the strings. Here we go, are you ready? One, two, three, four, one. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine You make me happy When skies are gray You'll never know, dear How much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away Play it again my sunshine, far too, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Keep going, I'm going to help you out, see. My only sunshine, read the chord chart, make me happy. Oh, when skies are gray, oh, you'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. One more time, you are my sunshine. My only sunshine You make me happy When skies are gray You'll never know, dear How much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away Play the last line Please don't take my sunshine away one more time, please don't take my sunshine away. And we end on a big C chord. All right, everyone, thanks for jumping in. Now, a couple of things going on here. First of all, give yourself a big hand. Come on. You showed up for your music today. Thank you very much. Um, we are doing something that is already a bit more advanced than beginning level instruction you know we are reading a chord chart and many of you know especially if you're you know if you're patrons of my channel you know that my chord charts my song sheets often include chord charts chord charts are a little different they show the structure of the song and your mission should you choose to accept it your mission is to train your eye to see the beat going across the page right that's the pulse that we build the rhythm on top of. So this is already a deeper skill, all right? And what we're gonna do later on is I'm gonna add some other chords 
why don't we do that right now actually let's add some other chords and some embellishments and I'm going to show you how you would use a capo and why would we use a capo if you're just joining please know that these weekly live streams are not weekly anymore it's going to be the first Sunday of every month okay so the next one will be March 6th you can watch any time of course just want to make that clear that it's going to be happening the first Sunday of every month if you are digging what you're seeing so far, uh, pretty please uh, click that like button um, and spread the news of this channel with your friends. You can subscribe to this channel and uh, appreciate you joining me. Let's add some other chords. Let me know if you have any questions about anything in the chat. For patrons, there will be a monthly deep dive Q&A session and some extra live streams. But for you, beloved public, we're just going to be meeting once a month and of course there'll be other uh, other tutorials throughout the month okay now first thing we can do and before we get super jet we're not gonna get super jazzy with it but just a simple variation is to on this fourth bar and on this eighth bar you could play a C7 which is a very which is a pretty common thing to add right just play your C chord and then your C7 chord and for some who have been playing for years and years, this may not be, you know, new news. I want to show you a cool variation, though, okay? So come in close, please. Check this out. You're moving from C. You make me happy. Um, right before you go to that, you are my sunshine. My only sunshine. All right, I'm putting a melodic walk down to the F chord. So join in with me and then I'll show you the chart again. You play C once. Okay. Now put your middle finger on the second fret. That's a C major 7 chord and then a C7 chord. C dominant 7 chord and then to F. Now honestly folks, um you don't have to think of those three chords as three separate chords. You really can just think of it all as C move into F okay and we're putting this chromatic line in there you make me happy so that's one bit more advanced option or you can just get to this bar and change to C7 right away all right so a mission possible thank you Dogmar <laughs> um, here's another um, another variation please don't take my sunshine away right here this bar let's put two chords on this bar all right and what it will do is it'll just create a little more harmonic interest you don't have to do this every time you may like to just play it the simpler way which was i'll write it up here so it's available as an option but a more advanced thing to do would be to play two beats of C and then two beats of F and then two beats of C and then two beats of G or G7 all right so this creates a little more harmonic motion join in with me from here we'll do it nice and slow and when we get to this bar see if you can take the chords on the bottom okay you ready one, two, one, two. Please don't take my sunshine. Oh, one, two, one, two. The other night, dear. All right. It's actually a lot of movement. Two beats each chord. You may prefer to place two beats per chord here in this measure. And then on this measure, just play a full bar of C. Totally up to you. This is folk music, and I think it's, um, while folk music is often not thought of as improvised, your chord choices are your own improvisation. You know, you know what I mean? So do it your way. Is this making sense so far? Let me know in the chat. And I appreciate you joining me. Let's play through this one more time with these variations, and then... We're going to add the capo and change the key, which may make it easier for you to sing, changes the whole tonality 
literally, and it also just tone, changes the tone of the song to move it to another key. All right, thank you for joining me. Um, if you dig this, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, spread the news of these videos, and thank you for joining. One, see the bouncing ball. Two, a one, a two. Ollie, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. sunshine and then you could finger pick if you wish you make me happy when skies are gray you'll never know dear how much I love you please don't take my sunshine away alright going through this very quickly of course but give yourself a big hand wanted to offer a couple of variations okay it's a good logical thing to do when you're playing a song that if you're playing it slower there's more space in the rhythm to put more chords in so if you're playing this really fast adding two beats per chord may not be the best thing to do it may be something that you like it's totally your choice of course and then, of course, you could see, and this isn't really the focus of this lesson, but you could see that you could play chords in different ways. So what I was just doing there was I was playing, please don't take my sunshine away, and I'm playing my C chord in a very different way. Please pause the video or return to this again and watch it a second time and you can copy this really cool way of playing C. You could do it in two ways. You could just put your pinky up here at the seventh fret. Any finger will do just fine. It's a different way of playing C. If you can stretch out like this, just keep the hands soft and place your first finger at the third fret and this finger at the seventh fret. Get a wonderful voicing of C. And then when we go to G7, we have a couple of options. There's always options when it comes to chords. We could slide this shape down one, two frets. And that's a very beautiful sound because this is a, a G7 chord, but it has the C string in it. So that makes it a G suspended fourth chord. When I play, I don't, I mean, I know how to name the chords. I'm classically trained, but I don't really think about it too much. It's nice to be in the, um, what my teacher called the caveman school of guitar, caveman school of ukulele. Just see a shape and move it around and then later figure out what you did. <laughs> you know? That's a nice way to work. So you have, please don't take my sunshine away. That's a wonderful sound. And you could just hang with this. It's a wonderful little chord progression to play for a few minutes, maybe while you wait for your tea to boil. Um, another option for G7, please don't take my, it has the same effect, sunshine away, but it's a little different than this. I'm placing my middle finger at the uh, fifth fret, first finger, third fret, 
third finger, fifth fret. This kind of detailed instruction is what I'm going to be offering patrons every month um, in the extra live streams. And these live streams will be available, of course, for everybody. Um, if you can't tell already, I'd like to share uh, things that have helped me in my, my music journey. All right, let's get into changing the keys. Please, uh, if you're digging this so far, give this video a thumbs up. Appreciate it. It's not to stroke my ego. It's just if you like this and you'd like other people to see it, clicking like helps YouTube to know that this is valuable. So if you're getting some value out of this, please click the like button. Subscribe to this channel. I have a lot of good things in store for you this month uh, and uh, in the coming year. So what I do with a capo... A capo is magic. A capo is like having another finger. You know, um, this is an old guitar. This was my first guitar, my dad's first guitar, and you can hear it. All right, so I'm playing in the key of C, even though it looks like an E chord for guitarists out there. And um, I'll come back to this guitar in a little while. What you uh, do with the capo is when you place it on the strings, you're moving the open strings to a new position. So what you do is you take your capo, you can get a ukulele capo anywhere in music stores. I like this one, it's made by Diodario. That's a good quality one. I've always enjoyed having a couple of these on hand. Place it a little closer to the fret than you might think, but not too close. And then tighten the back some capos have clamps on them really handy just clamp it on and now now my open strings are up a whole step i've moved them up two frets that's a whole step now listen to the chords you are my sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray again I've taken the same shapes I was playing for C and I've moved them up a whole step to the key of D if I quickly remove this and you can hear it again and then when you change this it allows you to use the same shapes that you're familiar with in a different key without retuning the strings, without learning new chord shapes. Learning new chord shapes is a great idea, and it's something I intend to teach, of course, uh, in the coming year. This is a good way to quickly change keys, and there are beautiful reasons why the C chord is so popular. It's because there's so many open strings in it. There's open strings in the F chord as well. So sometimes, even though we change keys, we want to have the resonance of those open strings. This is a song of mind. That's on my CD. I'll play a little bit. I'm using the C shapes I can do all this nice uh, open string stuff that I like to do you know where as if I was using a bar to change the chords with my first finger I don't have those possibilities available anymore now if you have a capo out there uh, please join me and uh, let's move this now one more fret let's move it up to the third fret and uh, see what this sounds like now we're in the key of E flat which sounds entirely different and when you try to sing uh, when you sing along um, it has an entirely different vibration key is key the key you choose is key 
that's not just a, qu a cute thing to say. Many singers will uh, attest to the key. It, it's an entirely different feeling tone to it. That's why classical composers would explore different keys. You know, piano concerto in E flat is very different than a piano concerto in D. It's a very different vibration. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. I can feel it. The pitches that I'm singing are resonating differently in my chest. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. So it's a really fun thing to do just to take a capo, and there's so much more I'll share in the future, but you know, just to take it and um, explore different keys with the same shape. I've moved mine now to the fifth fret. And now when I play this C chord, I'm in the key of F. Because if you forget, just pretend that capo isn't there. This would be C, this would be C sharp, this would be D, this would be D, uh, E flat, this would be E, this would be an F chord. So of course I'm presenting this quickly, just so we can get right into it. But now listen. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when the skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. entirely different place and for some singers moving up means that it's more comfortable to sing the melody lower you are my sunshine my only sunshine women who are watching this right now may not find that range comfortable but for uh, for men sometimes um, it's more comfortable to sing a melody in a lower key so it's a little bit of reverse logic. You move the capo up the neck and it allows your voice to sing lower and vice versa. Moving it down the neck lets you sing up higher. Okay, there are no real hard, fast rules to this. I think it's nice to just approach this in a, um, a more exploratory spirit and just see, see what works for you. So... Let me know if this is making sense and you're getting some value out of this. I appreciate you joining me. I'd like to jam the song one more time and um, let's move the capo around and just explore singing in different keys. As we do this, please uh, be very nice to yourself. You know, uh, this is not um, a contest or anything like that. This is not, you know, the American Idol show or anything like that. No panel of judges or anything like that. Uh, this is a very friendly container for you to explore. And by the way, the friendly container is what this whole experience is going to be like that. Uh, five days of learning how to approach music in such a free way, in such an empowering way. You're going to learn about playing ukulele. You're going to learn about uh, how to apply music to your daily life as a healthy thing to do for self-expression and just sharing it with your loved ones, okay? Um, you can check out info about that at the link down below. It takes place in New York, uh, just north of New York City, for those of you who are wondering. All right, let's start with the open chords. And then we'll move our capo up a little bit. Thank you so much for joining me. One, two, three. One, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. That's the key of C. And I omitted these 
fancy things at the bottom. Let's move it up a whole step. Let's just move it up to D. Okay, the key of D. And now your whole instrument resonates very differently. If you don't have a capo, no worries. You can get one and join in another time. Um, thanks for jamming along. Sing along, tap your uke, tap your shaker shaker. You don't have to strum in the same key as me to join in with the music. So same shapes, but now we're in a different key. One, two, a three. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. So that was the key of D. Sounds very different, right? Um, leave it in the chat. What key do you want me to move to? I'm going to move up two more frets to the key of E for now. And we'll check this out. Fourth fret, same shapes. Now we're in the key of E. You are my sunshine. One, two. A three, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I am holding back purposefully on like adding too many different chord noodlings and stuff because I want to make it clear that you take the same shapes and you have a whole new world. Thank you, Charlotte, for your generous super chat support. I appreciate it. A pencil and a rubber band as a capo. Hannah, that's a great idea. Hannah Flag, woohoo! Awesome idea. You take a uh, pencil and a rubber band and you can make a capo. I believe originally just a, a wire was used, you know, in Spanish guitar. They call it segia. So I'm going to now move it way up here, way up to the seventh fret, kind of up in the nosebleeds. The nosebleeds, what am I talking about? That's an American expression. <laughs> you probably know what I mean. When you have a, 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 sh a seat at the concert or at the football match, it's like so high up, it's you're getting a nosebleed because your altitude is so high, right? So way up here, now we are in the key of G. Now stay tuned because I'm gonna take the capo off and play it in the key of G down here with our G chords. But this has a different effect because we're up in these voicings and we have those open strings, all right? I want, oops. And a one, a two, a one, two, a three. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I switched my voice down low. Please don't take my sunshine away. Please don't take my sunshine away. All right, so I think you get the idea here. Now, Take a listen. That's a, a G, a C, a D, and a G. A G, a C, a D, and a G. Such a different sound. 
by playing around with the capo, one last little tidbit I'll share with you is that playing around with the capo, okay, here at the seventh fret, it gives you a window into how to figure out other chord voicings, something I'm going to be sharing about in an online course later this year. So how would we play that G chord if we took this capo away? We would have to replace it with our finger, maybe use our pinky. When we play that C, how would we play that without the capo? We might have to replace that capo with a finger. And now all of a sudden you get some insight into how to play these other chord forms. Okay, this one's a tricky one. How are you feeling out there, folks? Appreciate you joining me. Please remember um, to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget, we're going to be meeting the first Sunday of every month for uh, these special live stream lessons. Patrons of Ukulele Zen, as usual, will receive um, you know printables and stuff like that. But if you're not a patron, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can follow along just fine with what is here. I always flash graphics up so you can follow along if you want to support the channel of course that's so appreciated and you get some perks um, you know starting next month there will be some bonus perks for patrons who are uh, at the upper tier levels and i'll be announcing that to patrons soon including a special jam a q a session uh, there's all kinds of cool stuff that i can't wait to share with you and thank you for being a part of this community and we will explore capos, chord voicings, and all that stuff in the future. But for now, if you don't have a capo, just go find one online. I will put a link in the description below for those who are watching this later. I like the Diodario clips. Some people like the, uh, the capos that clamp. This is a Space Age. They actually call it the Space Age one. It's a very cool capo, and as you can hear, allows me to change key. So percussive styles, chord voicings, all kinds of cool stuff planned for this year. Thanks so much for spending some time with me. I wanted to do this spontaneous live stream to clarify the schedule first Sunday of the month. And uh, I hope that you and your family are doing well out there. Wishing you a happy day, happy playing. Go get a capo and uh, explore other keys. It's so interesting what happens to the sound of a song when you shift the keys. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for joining me. Wishing you all the best and until we meet again the first Sunday of the month, um, happy playing, good health, all the best to you and your family. Thank you.